play a little game of trivia. Now, I can almost guarantee you that this is not going to go perfectly uh, because online trivias are always uh, pretty diffi difficult to organize. And this is my first time. So, so please don't, you know, please don't take it personally if things don't go right. And another, another thing is everyone except for me can play this trivia um, because all the GRSS people, like including Paulo, Nathan, Farouz, uh, Vicky, like no one has seen this before. It's only me who has seen this, these trivia questions. Uh, so it's eligible to everyone. Uh, Nathan has seen the first question, but, <laughs> but, but I, think, I think that's like one that everyone is going to get anyway. Uh, all right, so this is what you're going to look at. I'm going to give you a link and uh, you, you'll have a question on the top you can put your answer and then you press the next button to go to the next question. Uh, now, the question is not going to be on the link. The question is going to be on the slide. So please make sure that you stay with the presentation and don't go ahead because uh, once you go ahead, you can't come back. So anytime you see this, this screen, please don't click next until I tell you so because otherwise you'll be farther away from the group and you won't know what the questions are, right? Like you only see the answers and it is time trivia. So you will like, you know, run out of time. Uh, all right, so this is the link. What I'm going to do is I'm going to post it on the chat so you don't have to, uh, so you don't have to uh, kind of look at the letters. So, why don't I have the chat screen? I think I need to stop sharing. All right, put the link on the chat. It. Oh, you got it. Uh, give me a thumbs up when you guys are on there. Okay, so these are the rules. Do not submit more than one entry, you will be disqualified. Uh, all text responses should be in small letters, no capitals, even for proper nouns and names. Uh, this is an automatically marked trivia. So if you use uh, capital letters, but the validator will think that, uh, you know, your answer is not right. Uh, so even if you are saying, for example, my name is Subit Chakrabarti, make sure the S is low and the C is lowercase, not capital. Uh, so any questions? If, you're, if, if there's an and in the answer, please write the word and and don't uh, use the ampersand character. Uh, any questions? No questions. Everyone good? All right, give me a thumbs up if you if you if you're good. Great. Okay, so the first question is, what does GRSS stand for? And it's for five points. I I hope everyone gets this. All right, does everyone have, have, have the answer? Got it? All right. So the second and third question are going to be on the same page. Uh, and I'm going to tell you both the questions at the same time. And then you have 60 seconds to answer the questions. So the second question is, how many journals does GRSS publish? And the third question is, name any one of those journals, full name. Uh, remember, again, no capital letters allowed. So question number two and question number three is what you're answering. Two is how many journals and three is name any one of those journals. Can we ask clarifying questions? Yeah, you can ask me right now. Are, are magazines journals? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Nathan? Are magazines journals? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm leaving it. I'm, I'm going to say yes. There's nice technical content. Um, <laughs> then, or, no, there's I, also like data I, repositories. I did not <laughs> consider magazine journals. Um, if if you consider that everything that has a DOI is a journal, then you get into like places where conferences are journals and like remote sensing code libraries are journals. So no, it's just like traditional journals That's, and. Uh, 
it's it's the question of like is like sushi a sandwich for example that that we're concerned with here but in from my perspective no sushi is not a sandwich so uh, that's fair <laughs> okay everyone I have no idea time. what you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I know only pasta, you know, that's nothing. And I'm pasta and pizza, so I don't know what sushi or sandwich. <laughs> is, is panini a sandwich? That's the, that's the question. That's the Italian perspective. All right, give me a thumbs up if you're done with this. No, no, I mean, it's, it's yeah. All right, so the next question is three questions in one slide. The first is, which I, year was the first Igars held? Next question is, which city was the first IGARS held in? Double points for this one, 10 points. And the third question is triple points. There's three cities which has held IGARS multiple times. How many of them can you name? It's five points per city, minus three if you get it wrong, minus five if you get it wrong, and IGARS has never been held in that city before. And when I say IGARS, I mean the International Geoscience and Remote Sensing uh, Society uh, conference and um, not like any other conference that might have been organized by the society under any other name. So the first society conference that was named IGARS. All right, everyone good? Everyone has answered? Everyone's on the next section? Give me a thumbs down if you still are not at the end. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I think it's not fair because from here I cannot access Google. Everybody else is accessing the Google. <laughs> from it's, China, it's I cannot actually, access It's actually Google. surprisingly difficult to find these out, uh, <laughs> believe it or not. Like you have to look at the society 50 years like magazine or something like that to like you find out the answers to a lot of these questions. All right. All right, so the set next question is a technical question. You have to mark the events from the earliest, which is number one, to the latest, which is number seven. And this is uh, not timed. So, uh, you know, I'll give you like a couple of minutes for this one. So if you think something was earliest, you have to mark it one. And if you think something was later, you have to mark it two and, and so on and so forth. Some of this should be very easy, but some of this should be tricky. Uh, so if you, if you find some things very easy and you find other things trickier to think about, um, that's, that's sort of the point. Thumbs down if you still don't have it, if you need more time. Thumbs up if you've already got, the, got all the answers. Okay, I don't see any thumbs down. So I will move on in like 30 seconds, unless someone shows me a thumbs down. All right, so time to go to the next question. Oh, no, not that button. Uh, so you have to identify these people who are important in the history of both GRSS and remote sensing.
this is another question that is not very easy. Uh, but if you get it right, it's two points per person. So 10 points if you get them all right, which is, uh, which is pretty difficult, to be honest. Tianlin, what do you think if, can I have a mustache like this guy, number five? Yeah, I mean, you, you were not rising, rising, rising the, the right place, but it's okay. <laughs> I think. Uh. That's the funniest picture of him that I could find, by the way. That, that's why it's, it's on there. Uh, there's, there's other pictures which, which are not as funny. Uh, all right, thumbs down if you still need time. Uh, and otherwise, I'll move, up, move on in 30 seconds. I see no thumbs down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. So this is a Landsat 8 image. Uh, I hope everyone uh, has seen a Landsat image before. It's a true color image. Uh, what is the diagonal white line at the top of the image? It's a pretty easy question. It's not a trick question, so don't think too hard about it. It's, it's a very simple question. All right, thumbs down if you still don't have it. I don't see a thumbs down. So the next question is going to be another image interpretation question, but it's a SAR question, okay? So be prepared. Uh, all right, so this is a CSAT image. CSAT was a sensor that was uh, launched a couple of decades ago at this point. Uh, the areas of water in the image are mostly a speckled gray tone, but there are sections of black. What are the black areas? And when we finally, like, what I'll do after the questions is I'll pick one of you and I ask, I'll ask you to answer the questions. Um, for this one, I'm going to pick Seanak since he's an expert in uh, synthetic aperture radar. Or, or Alex too. Okay, thumbs down if you still don't have it. Uh, I don't, Zoom still hasn't updated the image for me. I can't actually see it. You can't see it? If I'm the only one, if I'm the only one, just keep going, but. Why don't I'm I- am still looking at the Landsat image. And share again. Okay. Can you see it now? No, not yet. See the Landsat image? Nope, no, I don't see anything. Nobody else is saying anything, so it's probably just my connection. Keep going. Can you see my video? I, yes, I can see your video. Okay. Can you see this? <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, I can. <laughs> All right. The gray part. Oh, it, just, it just updated. I got it. Okay. <laughs> Technology doesn't work, mostly. Um, okay, do you get it, Nathan? Yes, I'm, I'm looking at it now. All right, all right. All right, so this is the last traditional question. There is a bonus question in the next, uh, next slide. Uh, the bonus question is not timed. Uh, and I'll give you a couple of minutes. I'll go drink some water and come back. And uh, then we can talk about the answers. All right, Nathan, I'm going up to the bonus question. Is that OK? OK, cool. So. You have to match the names of the old cities, which are in the rows, to the names of the modern countries that they belong to right now. Uh, and for each city that you get right, you get one point. Uh, there's 10 cities, so that's 10 bonus points. Uh, you do not have negative po points if you get it wrong. So you know, feel free to guess. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up my water bottle and come right back.
All right, again, so some of these are, are much trickier than the others. Um, we'll, let's go to that slide. All right. Since it's not timed, uh, I will give you more time if you need it. So if you need uh, extra time right now, please show me a thumbs down. Okay, extra time it is, no problem. Nathan, did you get did you get all of them? I think I've probably got none of them, but I did finish <laughs> the answers. <laughs> you can still uh, keep answering. I just stopped sharing because I want to look at the results. We, we should do trivia like even if we do a real life um, uh, mixer. Even better because in the real life you cannot Google. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I hope no one did it, but I don't know. I mean. Yeah, which is, which is why there's like no, um, well, I, you know, there's no, no, no price for winning this. So you're not like really like. I thought that there is another 100 uh, US dollar by you now. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe I'll take you to dinner the next time I see any of you like at a conference. Like that, okay, that's good. the most uh, I, can, I can promise. I think I think uh, the people who have submitted have 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 uh, all, like done done pretty well, so no uh, no pressure. Are you about to like show us a graph <laughs> with all of our names? I will, I will not show you the graph, but I will <laughs> just go through all the questions and um, and discuss uh, what the answers are, and and then like probably pick someone to like answer it. Okay, everyone should submit the answers. Nathan, can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Perfect. 
Uh, let me get my windows in order so I can do what I want to do right now. All right, so uh, let's go to the answers. Uh, okay, who is gonna answer this? I think like everyone has got this right, so. I mean, the only reason you can get it wrong is because you mistype something, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Just put yeah. your science or society with the capital S and that's uh -huh. all it shows that you are yeah, a lot of people. Have, At least this is my hope. I mean, a lot of people have actually done that. A lot of people have like typed everything in capital letters, which was totally the opposite of what I said. So if you have done that, I have no sympathy for you. Um, but the answer is uh, geoscience and remote sensing society. And if you typed it like that, you get uh, full points for that. So the next question is, how many journals does GRS has published? And um, very few people got this right. <laughs> um, I think because of the fact that, like Nathan said, there is a um, kind of like a uh, like a confusion of what a journal is. Uh, one thing, one who one person who did get it right is our friend Mosen. Mosen, do you want to tell us what the answer is? Um, actually, I, I, I submitted for the four and I was relying just on the probability that <laughs> I think it's <laughs> unsightly and J stars and uh, letter and one more, I, I, just in case, I add one more. <laughs> yeah, so and then the next one was name one GRSS journal, which again, a lot of you got right, um, unless you like listed all of them, which was not, the, which was not what I asked, I just said name one journal. Um, so the answers to this, are the first one is four, and the next one are Jews and remote sensing letters, transactions, journal, and then journal GMAS, which everyone um, forgot about. Um, it's the Journal of Miniaturized Air and Space Systems. Uh, but yes, that's that's tricky. Uh, Can you go back to the question? Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I, I, I may discuss about the GNSS publish. Okay, that's okay. That's the reason why I, I mean I got it wrong. I said three, because actually you must is something that we do not publish. I mean yeah. we just go sponsor, but it's okay. It, I mean you're right. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. I, I I just wanted to trick people. So <laughs> no, I mean no, it's okay. I mean just, just joking about that. And I didn't want I don't want to lose. That's why I'm saying that. <laughs> Oh, I was starting to argue too. I was, I was, trying, to, I was trying to decide how much I was going to argue about this one. <laughs> Semantics is not up for argument in a trivia competition. That should be rule one. Um, that's usually like whenever I like have played professional trivia, like that's like rule one. It's like quiz master's take on semantics is final. Uh, anyway, so which year was first Igar's held? Actually, someone who got this right is uh, is Vicky. Vicky, do you want to tell us what you answered if you remember? And we're not. Uh, I think I said, ooh, yeah, it was between two. I want to say I said 1980 to 1990 or 1970 to 1980. 1980 to 1990 is what you said, and it is right. First, Igar's was held in 1981, uh, and uh, actually, like a few people got, got where it was held right, um, which is, which is uh, interesting and surprising. Uh, Omids, do you want to share? Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, I, the correct answer, I think it's Washington, D.C., right? Yes, it is Washington, D.C. Yeah. Uh, did, you, did you guess or, or did you actually like know that it was in Washington, D.C.? Actually, I knew it. You knew it! Amazing! Yeah. Yeah. How did you know that? Because uh, I'm affiliated with the Remote Sensing Center at the University of Alabama. And uh, this year we participated and submitted a conference paper to the conference. So um, I went through the background of the, uh, this um, symposium. Actually, and also there is one website 
uh, which I can introduce. Also, you can read the whole background from the beginning to the end. And for example, which cities uh, have been taken place at each year. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's great. I think it is on the GRSS website. Uh, yes, that's if, right. If you look deep enough, but yeah, exactly. If you, if you could post that link um, on the chat, I think. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so the next question was actually pretty tricky. It said uh, it, the question was which city has held uh, Igar's um, Igar's more than once, and there's only three cities that have that have held Igar's more than once. Uh, if you picked a city where IGARS was held once, you did not get any uh, negative, uh, you got minus three. And if you picked a negative three, and if you picked a city where IGARS was never held, you got you got negative five. So uh, it, it's kind of uh, a weird scoring structure. I'm trying to see if someone got them all right, uh, but I don't think anyone did which, I mean, is not surprising. A lot of people got like one right. Um, and then one is like really tricky. Uh, Nathan, do you want to answer this? What did you answer? Uh, trying to remember what I answered. Um, let's see, I chose DC, Boston, no, sorry, um, Honolulu and Boston, is that right? Uh, okay, yeah, so one of those was right. Um, which oh, one crap. do you think is is right? Well, so I went with Honolulu because I know uh, Igars is in Hawaii every 10 years. And so I just assumed, I again, maybe it's semantics because like a few years ago it was outside of Honolulu a little bit and then like in Honolulu. So I don't know whether that's yeah, kind of both in Honolulu. Go by, I just go by the official cities that like they report on the... Uh, conference so it is Honolulu so yeah, you're right Hon okay Hell twice in Honolulu you're absolutely I was right. pretty sure I was pretty sure that it's been back to DC but I guess I'm wrong there so when it first started when it was not called Igars it was held a bunch of times in DC um, but after like it's uh, changed its name to Igars it's only been in DC once and that's the that's the first time um, does anyone know? And so, one, is, one city is is uh, Honolulu. Does anyone know what the other two are? One of them is is simple. At least. I mean, the one which is tricky, I guess, is Vancouver because we moved to Vancouver the second time only because of the big uh, uh, earthquake in Japan. Yeah, uh, that is right. So the second city is Vancouver. Um, the third one is uh, actually Munich. Uh, so the the ones that had like more negative points were London. Igars has never been held in London. Igars has never been held in New York. Igars has never been held in Dallas. Again, Igars has been held in Fort Worth, which is very close to Dallas. But I will I will take that as a wrong answer since uh, I go by the conference website. So I think uh, no one actually got all of them right, but a lot of people got uh, two right. So uh, I I will take that I will take that as great knowledge about GRSS on your part. Um, all right, so the next question was, mark these events from the earliest uh, to the latest. Uh, does anyone know what the earliest event was? Okay, sonar was used by Leonardo da Vinci in 1490. Uh, so that was the first event. Uh, I thought that was pretty easy. Uh, this is too difficult to uh, to parse at an individual level. So I'll just I'll just uh, tell you the answers. Uh, the next one was uh, the first permanent photograph of a camera image was made in 1825 by Joseph. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Uh, so that was the second event. Third event was Maxwell. He published the electromagnetic theory of light in 1865. So these were the three kind of historical events. The next three were much after. So I think like everyone should have kind of put these three together and put the next three together at the very least. Uh, so the next one, Vicky, do you want to guess what the next one is? 
Did I get it right? I don't know. It's too hard for me to like look at all of the answers. There's too um, I, I don't even see the screen where I have the options anymore. Uh, let me fix Otherwise, that. Otherwise, I'm definitely just, just guessing. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> the camera in space, Landsat one, Airsar. That was it, right? Yes. You're okay, here. then I'm gonna do camera in space. <laughs> so there's two. Oh, no, I missed one more. Camera. In oh, space. inventor of the photo transistor. Camera in space, photo transistor, um, Airsar flight, and launch of Landsat one. Oh, that's all the answers. Okay. Uh. <laughs> all right. So it was actually uh. camera in space. You're right. So this is actually a very interesting story. The first camera in space was on German rockets that uh, U.S. kind of uh, took when it won World War II, and they like kept firing it from the White Sands V2 launching site. <coughs> Excuse me. And they put a camera on those rockets. So since the rockets went into space, need some water. <coughs> ah. Sorry. <clears throat> so since the rockets went into space, um, they were the first uh, kind of aerial uh, space pictures of the Earth that were taken. The next one was the invention of the photo uh, photo transistor. So it was invented at Bell Labs in 1950, very soon after the first camera went into space. Okay, someone has to know what the next one is. There's two left. There's uh, AirSAR and Landsat One. Which one was earlier? I'm going with Landsat One. Yes, you're right. Landsat 1 was launched on 1972, and then air star flight was in 1988. All right, so the next question, who knows what number one is? Uh, who number one is? Uh, Farouz, do you know who number one is? Nayara, do you know? I know because I'm Italian. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a hint right there. Yeah, exactly. It's the Guglielmo Marconi, right? Yes. So this is Marconi, then Roger Tomlinson. Does anyone know why Roger Tomlinson is famous? This is kind of like a little difficult. He um, popularized slash invented uh, geographic information systems. So he was the he was the one who designed the first geographic information system. Uh, uh, the next one should be easy for most people. Uh, you actually have like probably seen him around at Igar. So that's Fawaz Ulubi, um, who was also president of the society a few decades ago. Um, next was Valery Mironov. Uh, does anyone know who Valery Mironov is? Alex, are you still on the call? Maybe not. Okay, so Valery Mironov developed the dielectric model of the soil, uh, which is important for doing remote sensing of the earth. Uh, it was the mironov thompson model. Um, and then the last one is Heinrich Hertz. So uh, he was one of the pioneers of uh, wave theories. Okay, everyone, I, I hope everyone got most of those right. Uh, did anyone get more than two right? I see most people got like one or two right. Okay, that's fine, that's, that's good. Uh, what is the diagonal white line at top of, on top of the Landsat image? Um, let's see. Uh, Nayara, do you know what, what that was? Shudipan, I do you know what the white white line was on top of the image? Uh, it's an uh, air flight track. Yes, that is right. It is an air freight track. It's an aircraft condensation trail, um, not a road because roads don't go over water, uh, and it's oh, yeah, like okay. it's too straight to to be a road. Uh, the next one was pretty tricky, I think, um, which is most of the uh, water areas are black, but uh, are gray. But there's subsections of black, and what what the gray or black ones are. 
Shonak. So the I think the options for oil spill, um, wind sheltering, and uh, uh, topographic shadows. So like shadows, terrain shadows. No, Shanak is not speaking. Vicky, do you know what the uh, the black areas are? Well, I think I answered incorrectly. What did you answer? Um, <laughs> I said shadows, but definitely not probably given where it is. They are not shadows. Well, because you can see the landmass. They're like the, you know, these parts and, and yeah. they're too small, too uh, small to cast such a big shadow. Okay, I'm going to say wind. That is right. Um, so it's not an oil spill. Again, that would be a gigantic oil spill. Um, it's wind. So these land masses protect the water from wind. So they look completely still and, uh, you know, they absorb all uh, microwave radiation. So this water looks gray because it's actually a pretty rough surface. Uh, and then we have the bonus question. Um, so Carthage is in Tunisia. Const uh, Ferus, do you get that right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would, I would be very disappointed if you did. Constantine <laughs> is in Algeria. Mohenjo-Daro is in Pakistan. Um, Alexandria is in Egypt. Timbuktu is in Mali. Zanzibar is in Tanzania. Tenochtitlan is in Mexico. Uh, Vaishali is in India. Siam Reap is in Cambodia, and Byzantium is in Turkey. Um, uh, Indian people on the call, if you want to fight me about Mohenjo-Daro in Pakistan, please uh, text me later. Uh, hey, I did not know about Vaishali, so I think I'm disqualified. <laughs> uh, all right, thank you so much for playing. Uh, let me see. I want a map. I mean, I want a map of these old uh, cities in the world. So you know, you, you are tasked to give us a map with the places. I mean, because India is a little bit too large. So which part of India, by the way? So uh, Vaishali is in uh, northeastern India in Bihar. I see. Uh, that's that's, okay. uh, that's enough civilization was. In fact, in fact, Vaishali is like one of the oldest republic uh, in the world, if I yes, remember correctly. Right. Uh, all right, so I'll I'll announce who's who's won, uh, and and then that will be all. But in the meantime, I think this is all the things that we had planned. We went like ten minutes over what we had allotted. But if anyone has any closing comments, remarks, please feel free to uh, speak now. I think it was great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, <laughs> we have a clear winner. Um, the person who won got like more than 10 more than the next closest person. Uh, so, be Tian, Tian Lin, congratulations oh, on Tian Lin. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. I, I think, I think. <laughs> Okay, I think I, I was uh, made it for those uh, recognizing these people's name and their pictures, but based on their like name and their face. Yeah, so maybe that one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, good hey, job. You're on my next I got pop trivia quiz team. <laughs> I got 2021. <laughs> we know who to pick now. Yes, for sure. Yeah, and like uh, Tian Lin, you should, you should charge people who want to pick you on, uh, <laughs> on their trivia team, just FYI. Uh, all right. So closing remarks. Uh, please tune in for the for the rest of the sessions. Hopefully this was fun. It was not meant to be too serious. Um, you know, please attend IGARS. Please attend all the webinars. Um, please sign up for the Slack channel because I commit to doing this at least once a month. Um, we will not have trivia every month. That's too much work. But I will be there. You know, with my face on your screen, uh, ready to talk to you. And I'll set up a bingo competition. Uh, that will go on probably over the next uh, few months. And if all goes well, we can find a place uh, to award the final bingo prize of, of you know, measly $100 from me, like maybe in the IGAR's banquet, I don't know. <laughs>
yeah, I mean, that, that's probably not going to happen. But anyway, uh, thank you all for attending and uh, bye, I guess. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.